what's going on everybody so happy holidays it is almost christmas time and we've had the christmas or winter event inside the game for quite some time now and i just want to give my overall thoughts now that we've been kind of experienced a lot of what this has to offer as well as what i'm expecting out of this game in the future and let's just be honest here this is way better than i thought it was going to be especially for those of you coming from raid my oh my is this just another tier of insane event after insane event compared to what we get in raid right and the first thing i want to start off is with the fusion okay so the fusion's been going on for well a little over a week and a half now and uh we've had a ton of great things with that right lots of just solid events solid ways to get rewards you know solid ways to participate but more so than anything else, the way these shards have been divvied up and your ability to access them has been absolutely life-changing compared to the other options that we've had in other games. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> this has been a night and day difference compared to what we had in those games, okay? With this and the way the shard calendar rolls, if you exclude all of the summon events, you're at 160 shards total if you do every other event not winning any of the trials right for me i'm gonna go for a win on a couple of trials so that i can avoid some of the other events like the gear enhancing event i don't typically like to do that one so i'm probably gonna pass on that one at least well one of them right we have the summon events right which if you choose to do you can get additional 15 shards or potentially 20 shards or if you win the event you can even get even more right these are all great but you do not need to do any of that because you get 160 total shards of that character, Alistair, and then hop into the Frostfall Jamboree shop. And we just pop out of here. I did not do my battle yesterday. <laughs> Buy the other 20 shop shards from the Alistair uh, shard shop here, or the, sh the, the, the Frostfall Jamboree shop. You can buy the other 20 shards here. This is amazing, okay? it really really kind of lessens the load and the pressure not only for people who don't want to summon but for the people who do want to summon and may not have a ton of time and well let's say you're someone who spends a bunch of money in this game and maybe you're busy for the holiday season and you don't want to participate in every single farming event well guess what you can just summon for a couple of them and then bypass a couple others and then even more so than that because you're getting the shard summons and you're also getting the shards from the shop here you really can avoid a lot of events okay you can avoid potentially two three events out of the fusion calendar which is insane this is definitely not something that happens in ray oftentimes right oftentimes you need to participate in every single event and you oftentimes need to summon maybe multiple times okay this just is not something that happens in Raid. This is a huge, huge deal. It is a huge load off for a lot of people to not only not have to worry about summons, but also be able to participate in a lot of events. So huge, huge bonus for Watcher of Realms on just that alone. Massive, massive props. And I hope to see more fusions, more shard summons, whatever you want to call them, in the game going forward. Because if they're like this, I want to participate that with them or in them every single time that we have them in the game. It would be fantastic. It's a ton of fun, especially when, well, I'm not on 24 seven for three weeks straight or whatever it is, but it's not just that, right? It's not just a great fusion. Oh, we have some good events going on. Well, we also have some cool summon events going on, which, well, you could say these are kind of normal because we have a lot of these types of events. So I'm not going to really put too much stock into these because well they are just 2x 10x's which has happened in the game before but there's also the frostfall jamboree shop right there's the immortal shop which you can get a lot of great rewards from right they give you a ton of legendary skill crystals summons if you want to you can even pick up some of the artifacts which i have since i do have setrim i decided to pick up myself the setrim artifact there's just a ton of rewards here. And then on top of that whole thing, you also have the bosses, which are all unique 
individual boss challenges, which are really, really cool. The easy one obviously is, well, easy. But the boss challenge for the Hard Immortal Codex, at least for the Conqueror here, the first one, which by the time this video comes out, there should be the second one at least. This one's pretty tough, especially when you need a lot of melee characters. And if you don't have those ones built out, then you'll be struggling a little bit. I have not grinded a ton on this event yet, um, but I will be shortly. This is a really nice change of pace compared to honestly a lot of the other winter events that I've seen. Heck, there has been a winter event in two other games that I play currently, and one of them is just a calendar of rewards. Wow. And the second one is just checking in and basically a glorified shop because um, you're not really participating in any of the unique events. So to see this game not only do the minimum, but also include things from other games like a, the Raid Fusion, for example, but amplify it to the next level is a great addition. This is not to say that Raid is trash or the, the events are bad over there or anything like that. That's not the case at all. I, I don't think that, uh, you know, having the fusions regularly be in the game or the winter fusion or anything like that is a bad thing. But being able to kind of give people a little bit of leeway and also on top of that, add additional boss challenges is just a fantastic, fantastic look for Watcher of Realms. And I'm really hoping to see more of this in the future. I, I cannot state this enough. And I'm curious to hear what all of you have to say because... Honestly, I haven't really talked to a ton of people about this event, or I haven't really kind of looked out in the community and watched videos. Maybe people have already put their opinions out on the event. I wanted to wait a little bit just to see kind of where the point totals kind of shored up uh, or really showed up in a lot of these events. Like, okay, yeah, sure. The events seemingly are easy to complete so far, and we don't need to do all of them, but are they really difficult later on? Like maybe some of the point totals is... A little bit skewed compared to normal none of that's been the case and i've just been happy all along the way so huge props to watcher of realms and i really am curious to hear your thoughts in the comments down below would you want to see a regular fusion in the game if it was like this fusion would you want to see that come around every two months or so and and have a new legendary that every free-to-play player could obtain especially with the style of events that we have here would you want to see, you know, these types of events going forward, not just for winter, but maybe for like Easter or for Valentine's Day or whatever it is that they choose to celebrate going forward. But I know for me, this is an absolute W, absolute win. And I'm just going to enjoy my time and enjoy the holidays and not have to stress about playing a game because <laughs> I want to get the fusion that will never come back or never be in the game again. Oh, it's so good. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I'll see you all in the next one.